Good morning, everyone. Good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Desmos, and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empire free. If you are new on this channel, I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-development. And if that's what resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us, give us a like, share this video with friends, and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. A subscriber sent in a very powerful question. If I manage to find that question, I will share it with you guys. How do you break your uh, generational cycles? We've been talking about generational cycles this whole week. First of all, we are all dealing with something different. Some people are dealing with uh, addictions, okay? Maybe alcohol, maybe sex addiction, maybe drugs addiction, different types of addiction. Some people are dealing with uh, deaths, untimely deaths. Some people are dealing with uh, sicknesses, disease. Some people are dealing with... Uh, there's so many repeated patterns because generation also means repeated. So this is something that has been passed on from the ancestors, from the previous generations on to the newer generations, okay? And if nobody is able to break those curses or cycles... That means that those cycles are going to actually continue to flow into the future generations to come. A black sheep of the family, they are the chosen ones, okay? So these are the people that have been sent to carry out this assignment because I personally do not believe that everybody can, uh, can do this. Everybody can, uh, can do this assignment, can execute this assignment because... There is things that are very difficult to break, okay? You can break other things, but when you're talking about generational things, those are things and cycles that are very, very difficult to break, okay? So it is a few, selected few of people that are able to execute this mission. So the black sheep, like I said, at one point in your life, you will come to a sense of awakening. You will awaken, okay? So you will be awakened at some point. When you're awakened, you're now able to get a general awareness you come into that realization of what exactly has been going on okay you may have seen it before or even known about it but this time you're coming to this real awareness you're accepting what it is that has been going on okay and as a black sheep you are deciding that this is going to end okay so there's no way you're going to think these kind of cycles are going to continuously repeat in your children or even sometime your gra your grandchildren and the great great grandchildren or whatever so all the generations that are coming after you they're not gonna have to deal with this so as a black sheep of the family you're choosing to put an end to these cycles this is not something you want to see in your kids it is not what even something you want to their kids to experience at some point the very first step to break generational curses cycles and trauma first of all you have got to come to that acknowledgement of what it is that has been going on acknowledge it for what it is see it for what it is okay don't try to fight yourself you know try to gaslight yourself or maybe you didn't see things properly or maybe you, you're having some things wrong no 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 when you've come to that sense of awakening you cannot run away from the truth the truth is always going to be brought straight in your face and you're going to be able to realize and understand what it is exactly have you been dealing with all this time what is the problem not only that you are accepting it and seeing it for what it is. That is the very first step to breaking generational curses and trauma. There's a process, okay? When you have done that, you are now going to find the power to walk away. I think I've, I've probably done already two videos and I've told you the very first step for you to break out of any form of curse, trauma or experience or whatever, you have first of all got to walk out of it, okay? Walk away from it. It is difficult, I know. Sometimes it can even sometimes be dangerous because maybe you're living very powerful families and sometimes uh, they are putting all these blocks for you. They are sending around people to stalk you around and stuff like that. Find the power to walk away, okay? Finding the power to walk away is you choosing that you are no longer going to participate in these cycles, okay? You have already seen them for what it is. You understand them and you understand them for what they are. You are now finding the power within yourself. This is one of the, I think this is one of the most difficult things for the black ships to do. Because 
when you have left and walked out of these uh, cycles and patterns and even sometimes families you can realize sometimes that you're feeling guilty you know there's a lot of pain and stuff like that okay when you have figured out what the generational curse is you have decided you're not going to participate in this you will usually find the power to walk away okay find a way okay you can walk away like i've said normally when you're, when you're leaving this kind of uh, units and stuff like that you have got to usually walk away very quietly don't let it be known to them don't just uh, you know slap it in their face that oh i'm going to break away from you and stuff like that and cause this kind of chaos and, co and commotion it is just going to bounce back to, uh, back at you so find a way to secretly walk away in a way that is safe for you okay so that you don't cause yourself any trouble in this process Number three, how do you break generational cycles out of generational cycles and trauma and curses? Black sheep, you are going to allow yourselves to mourn. You are leaving behind the entire unit. It's not easy, okay? I've been on this journey for, uh, for a very long time. I started this journey probably like two and a half years ago when I woke up from a dysfunctional family system. Allow yourself to mourn. You are leaving people that you used to love back in the days you thought you loved, but of course you realize that they never even loved you back in the first place. That's why they used to treat you the way they used to do. Okay? Take yourself, uh, take time for yourself to mourn. Mourn. I don't know, mourning can happen in so many ways. Many, many people mourn differently. Some people will cry out, some people will find different activities to do, some people want to isolate, some people want to break a plate, in whichever way you can mourn. Allow this energy to leave your body. At the end of the cry, ladies and gentlemen, there is water, okay? And there is peace. And at the same time, there is freedom. Allow yourself to mourn. Don't be shy about it. Don't be shy to break a plate. Don't be shy to throw yourself on the ground. Don't be shy to roll yourself on the ground. Mourn, 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 and mourn. When you're mourning, you're also releasing that energy out of your system. That energy, remember, it has been suppressed. It has been emotion that have been suppressed over the years. You have never been able to speak on anything. You have never been able to make your own presentations, to have your own uh, say on certain things. You have always kept, you have always made, um, you have always forced into silence during those entanglements with those units. So mourn as much as you can for as long as you can. When you have done that, you're going to feel better about yourself. The fourth one, what you're going to do, you are now going to start praying, okay? Pray. Like we know, some of you guys are religious, some people are spiritual, people have got different beliefs. In whichever way you believe, prayer is still prayer. It doesn't matter what your belief system is. Prayer is still prayer, and every prayer can always be answered. Pray against these cycles, okay? Pray against these cycles. In any language you can, in any way you can, in any form you can. Pray, 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 and pray, ladies and gentlemen. After that, you are going to start embarking on a healing path. As much as I remember, as long as I remember, I've always talked about healing on my videos. I've told you guys healing is very important. It doesn't really matter who you are. If you have been in any form of abuse or difficult, traumatic experiences, always allow yourself to heal. Like I've said, some people can heal, some people can't. Okay, some people struggle to heal, some people, you know, find it very easy to heal. Some people uh, create their own methods to heal. Healing is healing at the end of the day. If you can do self-healing, like my, uh, in my own situation, after dealing with uh, narcissism, of course, and the dysfunctional family system, which I later on found out that it was a narcissistic family, di uh, family dynamic, I was struggling financially back in the days. Okay, so I did self-healing i healed myself okay i did not go to any professionals or stuff like that because in those moments i struggled with trusting anyone i just couldn't trust anyone i couldn't even know not not even only the financial situation but also i had trust issues whereby it was hard for me to trust anyone regardless of whether they were in a professional position or not okay so i found ways to do the self-healing myself i did the healing myself if you cannot do healing by yourself then you can now opt for professional healing, okay? You may find a therapist you trust in town. You may have, have to go and uh, carry on going through some uh, sessions and stuff like that, healing sessions. 
find a professional, okay, counselor or therapist or whatever. You can be a doctor. You are healing physically. You're also healing emotionally. You're also healing spiritually. Now, the healing subject is a very wide one. I've got my own um, roadmap to healing, which I usually share with my clients. If that is what you want to do, then you can get in touch with me. I will take you through that process. You can book a session. I'll take you through the process of how you can do the healing, uh, the healing for yourself. So we're talking about a healing path. Again, healing is very difficult. It's not easy. You have got to choose to heal. Okay. Don't feel like you're being forced to heal. You may be forced to heal at some point, but at the same time, remember healing is what is going to get you to a better place in life, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Now, you may also be required to find a support group, okay? It can be a local support group in town. Maybe they are dealing with a particular issue. So, for example, you've heard about these support groups whereby they are helping people with uh, alcohol addictions or drug addictions and stuff like that. Or even sometimes victims of sexual abuse and stuff like that. Because we already understand normally generational trauma. Sexual abuse can also be part of generational trauma, okay? So, some people could have been abused sexually. If you are that kind of person, find the support group that fits your situation. There are so many support groups around town, in your, in your neighborhood. I don't know where you're coming from, but if you look around, you'll find a local support group. And usually, sometimes, I don't know if you have to pay for that or if it's free. Some of them are sponsored by the government. Find a local support group. You may even sometimes find that there's, there's even people in that support group that have been in a similar situation like you. And work on it, okay? Take as much time as you need, you will be okay. Now, another one which is very powerful, breaking generational cycles, is uh, you have to make sure that you support and educate your children. Because remember, now you've, you, you've embarked on this healing path for yourself, and now you're learning some new things. You're learning healthy ways to, to, to live. You're choosing healthy patterns to, to live. You are now also passing on these things to your children. Now you're starting to also support your children. Because remember that the children that you have, I'm talking about the ones with children at the moment. So the children are also a part of your bloodline. So they are your offsprings. And they could, also, they could have also been a part of that unit and a part of that trauma as well. So in one way or the other, even sometime without you knowing it, they could also have been infected by the same trauma that you have. So now your children have been seeing you as a drunkard, but you've chosen to take a path of healing. So as you carry along with this healing process, also make sure that you always support your children in any, way that, in any way that you can. Educate them on this problem, what has been going on. Be open to, to discussions with your kids. I don't know how young are your kids, but sometimes if you have got kids who can actually communicate with you, find a way to sit down with them and educate them on these problems and the things that you're trying to fix so that you can also get an, uh, a clear understanding of the path that you're choosing to take, okay? Because remember that you're, you're, you're breaking generational cycles that you don't want to be passed on to your own children. So as you carry on this healing process, also sit down with your children, support them, be there for them, and most importantly, educate them on something what they call love. I've told you guys, love is the highest frequency on this universe. If you are able to get yourself to vibrate on that frequency of love, you are going to turn out to become the most powerful individuals in this universe. Do everything you can to speak love unto your children. Because you don't want these things to be passed on. The reason why they have usually been passed on to your children, even sometimes the children that are coming afterwards, is because they have never been able to live out of love. Like for me, for example, when I was healing, when I was starting my healing journey, I was healing uh, after narcissism, being a scapegoat and the black sheep of the family. I knew what I was dealing with. So I knew that there was no love in the home, okay? There was no love. I've never had, actually, my own parents tell me that they love me. Of course, apart from my mom who passed away many years ago, I did not hear anything like that in my ears, okay? So don't repeat this in your children. Make sure that when you're supporting and educating your children, always try to make sure. Show them that you love them. Not only show them, prove to them that you really love them, okay? Speak love onto your children. The children are going to grab onto this frequency, and I can promise you the healing is going to happen. Now, the last one, which I will talk about, like I've said, I may not have, it may not be a conclusive list. If you have some other ways that you've learned about, you can also share, uh, share with us in the comment section below. Jump on a new path because you're not going to heal and then you're going to sit there and do the same thing that you've always been doing. You're going to create something new for yourself. You're going to create a new path, okay, for you 
And now you're going to start working on your own self-development. Because remember, minus the therapists, minus the doctors, minus the counselors, minus everything that you've been doing to heal yourself and to break out of these curses, you are now left to... Uh, because remember that you've healed all this energy and most of the times this energy has already started leaving your body. So now what you're going to do, you are going to start creating something new for yourself. You are going to jump on a new path, okay? It can be anything. And ladies and gentlemen, I've told you, when you're talking about these things of purpose and, you know, life purpose and stuff like that, it is not actually laid out to you in your hands in plain sight. It is something you have got to go within to be able to find something new that you really want to do. Because you see, generational trauma also hides us away from our path and purpose. So sometimes you are out there doing your drugs and doing your alcohol and doing everything. It's not your purpose. Yes, you may have a job that you do, a 9 to 5 or stuff like that. You may be doing the ordinary things like you've always done, but that is not your purpose. When you are healing, I can promise you, you are going to realize there is something better you can do. Even if you, know, you don't really know what it is, you're going to feel there is something else that is calling you to go in a completely different direction. Find something to start with. It is not out there in plain sight. It's not, come to go, it's not, go, it's not going to come to you with a manual that get from me and do this and do that, go that way or go this way. Create 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 black ships i've told you you have got all the powers you need you have got all the tools you need inside of you sit down in silence in meditation use your intuition and jump on the path even if you do not see where it is you need to go try to create something out of you stick on that path with commitment you're going to realize you're following a completely different path and remember whatever it is you're deciding is also going to be a part of your own family so remember that all these children are looking at you for support so create something new even if it's a job you may decide to switch your jobs maybe you may have been doing a job for a couple of years you may just start by even sometimes switching to another job if it's not that you want to do try to create something maybe you want to write a book about your own path for example the things you have seen the experiences you have gone through over the years there's so many people have seen that have done that start even sometime by writing a book or something like that step by step ladies and gentlemen you're, you're going to be able to create something new for yourself before you know it you're going to be working fully in your purpose like i've said the list is not conclusive if there is other things that you know because i've been talking about my own journey for example the things i've experienced personally narcissism and sometimes even addictions but your path could have been different if you follow the right steps ladies and gentlemen you're going to be okay that is how you break generational cycles and trauma those cycles if you stick to this path of healing i can promise you they are never going to be repeated in the future generations to come. You are the one who is here to end those cycles. You are the cycle breaker. You are the chosen one. You are the one who has been chosen and assigned for this mission. Okay? Like I've said, it is not everybody is here to do this. Some people will follow along or flow along with this path until the end. Some people are here to put an end to these cycles. And they can never be repeated in their children and the future generations to come. Okay? If you are the black sheep, commit heal, break out of it, jump on the path, you're going to be okay. Let me not think about this video in the comment section below. You guys do know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can always book a session with me if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. Denzel signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.